30 days we've been married. You haven't changed nothing into my name. Are you you haven't put the house in my name. You haven't put the insurance in my name. And then you got like everybody else is on as a beneficiary. And I like, can't. <laughs> no, no, you, no, you, no, you, you got cannot be saying all of your stuff right What you just say? You got both of them. What you just say? Say that, say that, say that one more time. Say that again. You heard what I said. Don't call my mama again. Yo, just say what I I want everybody to she got, she got somebody there to take this, care of her. This, this who I married. This who I married 30 days ago. No, this who I married 30 days ago. It takes time to do all like, that. Right. Like, it's right. like you not even taking this marriage serious. It's like you taking it too like serious right now. Still, it's like you still attached to your hey, do you, like a little mama look, 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 boy. Look, 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 check me out. Check me out. The mama boy. The little look, mama's look. boy. Do you love me or you love the money? Which one you what, what, what are you here for? What are you here for? Listen, like I said, oh, what you on TikTok interested. or something? What are you on? I'm not interested in nothing that you talking about right now. Because I don't even this think you care about me. Because what if you die? What if you die? What's gonna happen to me if you die? Who's gonna take care of me? Who's gonna take care of me? You told me when we got married. I know she is. gonna do everything. You gonna make sure I'm taking care of and now I'm like second guessing everything. Like, what is happening? You, you can't be serious right now. Yes, I am. Because you don't even love me. The Bible says when a man marries How you gonna say that? That he cleans to his wife and leaves his mother. Like, what is wrong? Who are you? It's not who's on you. Who are you? Yeah. You don't even care about you me. You tripping up about some. About you tripping about some paperwork really, right now. If you really care about me, I would be taken care of. If you really, really I'm gonna, gonna take, take care of you. What am I here for? We just got back up and head. No. Are you worried about some paperwork? No, no, no. Go, go sit down. 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 I'm a dog. So now I'm a dog, now I'm an animal. You just have to go sit down, go sit down. Oh my God, you a headache right now. You being such a headache right now. Like I said, I am not trying to hear nothing, okay? Until you put me on an insurance, on the deeds, on the cards, on everything. Then I'm going to take care of you. It's no marriage. You might as well go ahead and say there's no marriage. Who are you? Why are you? I don't care what you're talking about. You must have been talking to your friends or something. No, no, it, it, it's no, no way. I, 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 it's no I way. There's no way. I have I, I, I married you. <laughs> Listen, I pray to, to Jesus and God separately and together that this is a skit. Okay. I pray to the heavens above that this is a skit because I know how everybody loves to be like, nah, man, this is just a skit. Well, I pray to God it's a skit, but let's just say in the off chance that it's not a skit. Let's break it down. All right. There's no way. There's no way he didn't see no red flags before marrying this bitch. And yes, I'm gonna call her a bitch. I'm gonna call her a bitch simply for this video. Look at her. Ew, look at her face. Yo, how could you even Okay, I'm back. Hold on. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. First of all, this woman, excuse me, this bitch, this bitch don't respect this nigga, man. She don't respect this nigga. Raising her voice, you understand? Raising her voice and demanding shit. Who are you to raise your voice and demand shit? What are you, what is this? What is this? And and then and then the fake tears. Let's be honest. Did any of you see one actual tear roll down her face? Oh my god! And then <laughs> why is why is he arguing back with her? We know this, guys. We know we don't argue with women. You understand? We know we don't do this. He's arguing back and forth with her. And, and I'm going to tell you this, man. I'm going to tell you this. This is all his fault. This is all his fault. Because this, this bitch could have been crazy somewhere else by herself somewhere. He decided to marry her. Okay? He decided to marry her. There is no way. There's no way that he didn't see none of these red flags. I mean, first red flag is, is the hair. Look at the artificial, the artificial part right there. That's, that's not real. That's not real. Look at her face. Bro, I'm. <laughs> Yo, I can't. I can't.
can't mess with y'all dudes, bro. Look at her face. You <laughs> look, man. I'll say this too. It's his fault. I I, I I blame this all on him. Do you understand? I blame this all on him. If you dumb enough to let a to to let a female like this, to let a bitch like this trick you into marrying her, you deserve every fucking thing you get. I don't care. I'm not sorry for you if you walk down the aisle to this. I, if you let this walk down the aisle to you, if you go sign papers to be with this for the rest of your life, it's all your fault, my nigga. I ain't even sorry for you, bro. You understand? Of course, she's being disrespectful and crazy, raising her voice, giving him, giving him ultimatums, making demands and all this shit. But at the same time, my nigga, this is all your fault. You understand? And one thing I'll say, too, is that it really don't take that long to get to get uh, your your benef beneficiaries changed on your insurance policies and your financial policies. It really don't take that long. I, sus I suspect that this dude is a bullshitter himself. He might be lying about all the stuff that he got, you know, as far as his paperwork and as far as his uh, insurance claims and all this other stuff, he might have been lying to her. And she just she's just the dumb chick believing his lie. You understand? And... Again, let me tell you something. A woman is a reflection of a man. You understand? A woman is a reflection of a man. If th this woman behaving this way is a clear reflection of the fact that this dude is not, he's not a stand-up dude. He's really not a stand-up dude. Because truthfully, all of that type of stuff is supposed to be discussed and taken care of around the time of the marriage anyway. You understand? Because see, there, there's something called an annulment. An annulment means that once you get married, right, there is a time, there's a space of time where you can call off the wedding, right? You can, you can cancel the wedding without having to go through a divorce, right? And in different states, there are different um, stipulations on how you can get a marriage annulled. But if you, you know, let's just say you, you uh, marry someone and then you find out that they're like secretly married or there was some type of fraud or some type of criminal activity, you can get a marriage annulled. Again, each state has different situations, right? Now, this chick is talking about it's been 30 days and you haven't put my name on anything and blah, 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 blah. Okay. I can I can get with her concern, right? I can understand her concern, but what I can't understand and what I can't allow and get with is her raising her voice, being disrespectful and demanding anything. But at the same time, I have to look at the dude and I have to say, dude, what did you marry this chick for if you're not prepared to really get those things done? Like I said, a lot of those things are supposed to be done along with the marriage plans. OK, so that says to me that this guy is not a good leader. He's not a good manager. He's, he doesn't make a good husband. OK, he doesn't make a good husband. He doesn't make a good king and he doesn't make a good leader, which is why his quote unquote follower is behaving this way, acting all crazy, acting all disrespectful. And again, the, the woman is a reflection of the man. So this is the type of woman that he brings into his life and marries. You get what I'm saying? You know, again, you know, a lot of people are going to look at these type of videos and always want to say, yo, women are crazy and blah, blah. I already know that, bro. That goes without saying. Women are crazy. They're irrational. She's 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 schizophrenic to a certain point. If you're watching this video, because she's she's like oh, she's crying and blah, 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 with no fucking tears rolling down her face. And then she went from crying right back to attitude. You know what I'm saying? Right back to the to the to the, you know, diva grabbing the air and all of this Bro, I can't see it, bro. I can't even see it. I can't even see. let a let a bitch even. Well, I was on a date one time. <laughs> Yo, I swear to you, I swear this is a true story. I was on a date one time, and the, I saw and the girl grabbed air. Black chick, right? I said something to her. I guess she ain't really like it. But I was I was just I was just being me and I, re I really didn't care. You understand? But she showed up to the date. She was a little bit late, too. That was another thing that kind of pissed me off. But anyway, she was on thin ice already. And then I said something to her that she probably didn't like. Now, she could have took it one or two ways, because, again, when a woman is attracted to you, it's not much you could say to fuck it up. 
right? So me saying what I said was just her showing her hand because she was late, which means disrespect in the beginning, right? And then number two, already there was no vibe when she said, like when I gave her a hug and whatever, whatever, and she sat down, there was no vibe. So I said what I said, and then she went like this. She said something, and then she grabbed the air. And I said, did you just, did you just grab air? And she said, yes. And then I was like, um, so you need me to walk into your car or what? The date was over. For the fact that she was a couple minutes late and her grabbing air and catching that, catching a little attitude, the date was over at that point, bro. I don't look, I'm a man of a certain age. I know a lot of you cats listening to me are younger dudes. And so you still have to go through your paces. I get it, bro. Go on dates, deal with some of these women, see what it's like. You understand? But there will come a point where when you understand your masculine identity and you understand your value and you understand the type of life that you're trying to design as far as the type of women that you want for yourself, you will know you will not be trapped in a situation like this if you understand your masculine identity. You will not allow a woman like this to, to, to fool you into marrying her. And, and another thing is, I know some people might try to use the excuse as, well, you know, she's sexy or she's pretty or whatever. Where? Can someone... Because <laughs> I don't really like to do the whole scale of one to ten thing, but I'm... But, bro, I'm like, where? <laughs> where? Where? Where is... The <laughs> Yo, this got to there, there had to have been red flags. You understand? So honestly, yeah, we could get at the chick. This is another one of those videos where we could spend all day talking about how crazy, stupid, and disrespectful this bitch is, or we could look at the dude and be like, "Nigga, you ain't shit. You ain't shit because you let you got with this chick. You you I know you saw some red flags and you still married this bitch. Like, stop playing with us, bro. Stop playing with us. I like I said, I pray to Jesus and God that this is a fucking skit because no, there's no way. There is absolutely no way. But let's just say it's not a skit. Guys, you gotta see the red flags and you gotta nip the shit in the butt. Do not let no woman trick you into getting with her or marrying her and all this type of shit. Another thing I'll say too is that. A woman being written into your deeds, your insurance policies and all that type of stuff. Again, based on the quality of woman that she is, that's the type of stuff that the man does willingly. Do you understand? That's the type of stuff that a man should be doing willingly because his his spouse, his his life partner, his woman, his helpmate, his queen has earned that right to be written into his assets. If she has to demand it, then it, it, it throws everything out the window. Because there's a difference between doing something for someone because they've earned it, and then a person asking for something, or in this case, disrespectfully demanding it. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's at this point, I'm looking, I'm looking, we got to look at her funny now because now we see that she has an agenda because she's asking for it. I remember I saw a short with, by 50 Cent some time ago and they was asking him about his current girlfriend. And he said, the, he said, it's been hard for me to date because, you know, being in the spotlight, being a celebrity, blah, 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 it's been kind of tough. But he said, the, the woman that I'm with now, the reason why I'm with her is because she never asked me for anything. And I and I and I heard that I listened to that because here's the thing as a man and as a leader, especially if you got money or if you're a man of means, her just spending time with you being a part of your life, she will benefit. Right. Because if you if you're traveling and you and you're you're at a five star hotel, then she's she's with you. She's in a five star hotel, too. If, if you feel hungry and you want to go and you got money like that, you're going to go to probably the best steakhouse in the city. And who's there with you? She's there with you. She so so ultimately, if she understands who she's dealing with, she would never ruin the, the entire situation by asking you, hey, could you take me to a five star steakhouse? Could you take me to a, a five star hotel? Can we fly first class? If she understands the man that she's dealing with, she doesn't have to ask for it. She she understands that it's up to her to earn it because you're already going to treat yourself to those things. Now, if she's your woman and she's with you, then she can partake in those things as well. So she should never have to ask for it once she asks for it or like in this case, like I said, demands it. That means she has an agenda. 
That means she is not tr- she's not truly trusting of your leadership. She has her own agenda. She has her own mind. She has her own plans on her future, which probably doesn't necessarily include you. This is probably the her foreshadowing her true plans to divorce this guy. Because she 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 has no respect for him and probably doesn't want to be with him anyway. That's why she's sitting here acting like a bitch in this fucking video. You get what I'm saying? And he's sitting there being fooled by I don't know what because I don't see nothing that would even have me mesmerized. You know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes if a woman is real beautiful or she got a nice body and you're kind of mesmerized by her physical. I don't see nothing in this video to mesmerize me. So I don't know what this guy is doing, bro. I look I'm like again, like I said, I'm looking at the dude funny like, bro, you ain't shit. Because how do you possibly let a woman like this come into your life? And I'm sure you saw the attitude. I'm sure you saw some red flags. I'm sure she raised her voice before this. I'm sure she called you a mama's boy before this. I'm sure she was disrespectful at some point during the situation and you never checked her, bro. And now you got her sitting up, sitting up in here, counting the days that y'all been married and trying to demand and ultim- give you ultimatums on putting putting her on your assets. This is this whole situation is screwed up from the from the floor, from the ground, from the ground is screwed up, bro, is 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 messed up, bro. And I think it, I think I blame the guy. I blame the man. I blame the man. The woman, the woman, again, women, women are going, women are women, bro. Women are women. They all over the place. They emotional. They erratic. They crazy. One minute they crying. The other minute they grab in the air like this. <laughs> Right. I don't care. I don't care. Look at look at her face. She's she's already a psychotic to me. I don't even I'm not worried about her to try to place accountability on a woman like this is a is a fool's errand. It means nothing to me. So I have to look at the man like, nigga, what is you doing with your life, bro? What is you doing marrying a woman like this? What is you doing letting a woman like this even be in your house to even raise her voice to be talking to you this way? Man, what's up with you, bro? You really don't understand your value or maybe maybe you already know that you ain't you are you an ain't shit nigga. And you probably figure this is the best you could do. You understand? But see, guys, you know, we got to We got to understand our value. We got to understand our masculine identity. And once we understand that, that's when we can be honest and live a, a true, a true, honest life and attract the women that are compatible with our identity. And that's what it's all about. So you could stay clear of situations like this, whether it's a skit or not. All right. So I hope you guys got some from this video. It's your boy, Miles Cunningham. Hope you're having a great day. Be good to yourself. And remember, the truth is inside you. Peace.